my name is Jamie and this is the vlog for September 9th, 2020. It's about 7.25 at night. No, stay down. Paul's thinking about coming up. Um, anyway, uh, it is about 80 degrees and a little bit smoky outside. There are some nasty fires raging up and down the West Coast right now. And by West Coast, I mean California, mostly Northern California, but California, Oregon, and just west of the Cascades, but east of us, um, Washington is all on fire. Um, so we're spending a lot of time inside again, um, trying to avoid kiddo having an asthma attack or something like that. Everyone's feeling a little run down because the air quality kind of sucks. You know, it's pretty typical for when smoke is in the air. I'm a little bit on edge because my history with evacuations and fires, even though the fires are nowhere near us, um, it just, I will, I think I've come to accept that it will always be like this anxiety reaction for me, um, having lived neck deep in wildfire country for so long, being evacuated as many times as I have. <sighs> but anyway, um, so I have discovered the startling lack of privacy in this house <laughs> with another adult human being floating around. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm really glad that I already planned on canceling all of my clients this week. Well, not canceling, but going long distance with them because we have to work chiefly outside right now and the smoke is real. Um, the Y did just reopen. It's not reopened to very many people and a lot of my clients are really resistant to signing up again and being in that kind of environment. Honestly, can't blame them one bit. So it is what it is, what it is for the moment. Um, anyway, uh, I think that's, that's kind of like everything that's going on. Um, hubs coming home has gone pretty well. Um, communication hiccups, but that's all normal. Um, a lot of the kind of stuff where it's like, oh, I thought you knew I was going to do X, Y, Z rather than like actually saying it. Um, because we just, I take things for granted and I'm used to doing things on my own. So I have my way of doing things. And so it's just been as expected, a learning curve. Um, we are supposed to be in Leavenworth next week and, uh, Leavenworth is not on fire. There's a lot of fire all around Leavenworth. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, we're really hoping we don't have to cancel. We're kind of waiting until Friday to make that call. Um, but today is what? Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday, I think. Um, and, uh, yeah, Wednesday. So I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, um, it's kind of hard to even think about that being a difficult decision when people are by the thousands are uprooting and pulling out of their homes. And like the town of Bonnie Lake, from what the news has reported has pretty much been wiped off the map at this point. Um, they went from, you might have to evacuate to leave now and don't wait, like within hours. And it was very quick. Um, and I can't imagine how hard that is. Uh, by the time I got the leave now, you know, information, it was, it was already like barking down my door. So, um, if I remember the last time I lived in a little hunting cabin cottage near Lake Hodges in Escondido. And I got a phone call from my brother that night and he's like, um, have you watched the news? Now, of course I don't really watch the news. So especially nine o'clock at night, why? <laughs> so, um, he's like, no, there's a fire. I'm like, yeah, it's smoky, but you know, we get fires. It happens. It's usually far away. Just kind of settled in the Valley. The smoke settled in the Valley that I lived in. And then my brother says, no, look out your door. And I could see it cresting atop of a, a hill, like a couple miles away. And he's like, you need to get out now. So packed everything in my car, um, including my dog, um, stayed with my then boyfriend's family for a few weeks, a few weeks, a few days, probably like a week. It was a very long week. Um, not knowing if my house had burned down or not. And, uh, not an experience I would want to repeat ever ever, ever, ever. So I definitely feel for all those people that are going through it and 
I can't imagine coming back to rubble when I came back to my little rental cabin and everything was smoky, but okay. I was literally on my knees sobbing. <laughs> I was so relieved. Um, all that stress was just kind of melting away a little bit. Um, but I can't imagine coming home to ashes and probably a lot of still on my knees sobbing what had happened. And I'm not somebody who cries easily. So take that for what it's worth. Um, everybody who's out there, if you're watching this and you're in a fire line, please get out before they say go now. The sooner the better. You can always come back um, if it blows over and it doesn't harm your residents. Uh, don't wait until there's lots of traffic and it's hard to get out. Get out soon. Um, better to look stupid because you got out earlier and you didn't need to than to try to race out. It's a lot harder to leave a burning building or a burning neighborhood. So anyway, um, I guess that's my PSA for the day. Um, yeah, so I'm dealing with a little bit of that on top of like, you know, just kind of the normal homecoming stuff. Oh, the haulers came. This is good news. And they broke down my shed and took it away. I'm kind of wishing I broke it down myself because they just took a sledgehammer to it. That would have been so fun. But okay. They hauled that away. They hauled away all my yard waste for my summer projects and stuff like that. So I am excited because now it clears the path for us to talk to the concrete guy about I'm putting up a garage or a shed um, for weightlifting. If it's a garage, it would also double as a car garage, obviously. Um, so yeah, that will be super exciting. And that's like the next step here. So um, it's nice to have all that crap gone though. It's super awesome. Anyway, uh, it's been seven minutes in. I hear the family having a good giggle fest upstairs, which is really good for those two. Uh, kiddo definitely missed her playmate. So, and he made killer steaks today. I don't eat enough red meat. It's part of the B12 problem. So that would never have made myself a steak. So it was really nice. And uh, I think that covers it. So today is smoky and kind of crappy. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. <laughs>